Bitcoin was first proposed in late 2008, and uh, the original software was put out in, in early 2009. But it, the first few years sort of went under the radar, something that only uh, enthusiasts really uh, took notice of. Uh, but now Bitcoin is a $1 billion economy, and more and more uh, merchants, over 10,000 uh, merchants, are accepting Bitcoin. So as governments, and especially the federal government, begins to look at uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, uh, we thought it'd be important uh, to have them understand what they were. So that's why we issued uh, Bitcoin a primer. Bitcoin ultimately is an experiment, and uh, it may succeed or it may fail. And there are lots of good reasons why Bitcoin may ultimately fail. But one of those reasons should not be because policymakers did not understand it. Bitcoin is the world's first digital decentralized currency. The value of Bitcoin is really determined in the same way that the value of any other currency is, and that's on the market. With the digital currency, you have something called the double spending problem. Bitcoin is unique in that it uses cryptography to verify that units are not spent more than once. One of the main benefits of Bitcoin is uh, its low transactions cost, right? So if you use a credit card, you are a small business, you want to accept uh, credit cards, you are going to be paying about 25 cents per swipe of a card in addition to 3 to 6% of the transaction total. With Bitcoin, it is much lower. One of the biggest problems facing people in developing countries is a lack of access to basic financial services. Many of them live in rural areas. Banks don't really serve their community. What Bitcoin allows is a very low-cost way for these people to access capital. One of the most exciting things about Bitcoin is its potential to lower the cost for remittances. Lowering the cost of accessing finance and financial services will allow these people to grow and develop on their own. There are two main types of regulation that Bitcoin is facing. One is of a consumer protection sort of nature. The other is uh, targeting money laundering and terrorist financing. The biggest issue with those kinds of regulation is that in order to be a national um, provider of these services, you need to get licenses from 48 different states. That can be very expensive and very time consuming. Right? It could, it could run you well over a million dollars and well over a year or two before you can begin your business. So when you think about internet startups, this uh, really presents a, a barrier uh, uh, to entrepreneurship in the Bitcoin space. So there's this notion that Bitcoin is anonymous, and it's really kind of misleading. Uh, Bitcoin is pseudonymous because every uh, transaction that occurs on the Bitcoin economy is, uh, is public, and there's a record kept, a public record kept. There's a ledger in which every transaction that ever occurs is there, and that, that's how it has to be for Bitcoin uh, to operate. So if you think about um, illegal transactions uh, occurring anonymously, really cash is much more anonymous, um, just regular paper cash. And yet we don't make paper cash illegal or have any, any undue burdens on, on carrying cash, right? So Bitcoin sort of exists in, in the world between cash on the one end, which is completely anonymous, and credit card transactions on the other end, which are completely tied to your identity. Bitcoin is kind of in the middle. Bitcoin is ultimately a technology that is neutral, like all technologies, really. They can be put to good uses or they can be put to bad uses. And what policymakers need to do is not lose sight of the beneficial uses because there are some potential bad uses. And as we've seen, the benefits of Bitcoin can be pretty substantial. Like the internet, Bitcoin is decentralized. Nobody runs it, nobody owns it, um, and it's largely unregulated. And we see all of the positive developments that have come from allowing people on the internet to innovate freely. If we do the same for Bitcoin, who knows what could happen?